Gosh, I'm so full this morning. All I can think about is the vastness and the incredible um, God that we serve. Man cannot conceive of the power and the idea of creation. Even though we're trying to figure things out and duplicate what he did, all we are doing is more damage than we are doing good. Period. But when I begin to think about my life, I begin to see glimpses through God's word of who I am. Not who I am, who I've become through the origin of life or family that I came from and the environment that molded me. But I began to see who God intended for me to be. His word says, I can do all things through Christ. That strengthens me. Jesus Christ. Christ is not Jesus' last name. But Christ was placed on Jesus' name because it meant anointed one. So I can do all things through the anointing of that Christ, Jesus, that lives inside of me. All things, all things, whatever I decide to do. God has developed us in such a manner that whatsoever we think it, so are we. I know we were taught that on a negative basis, uh, and it's true. If you think bad things, if you think you're sick, if you think you can't, you can't. If you think you can, you can. What is the desire in your heart? To play the piano, to play football, to, to, to do these things. You are not limited by what someone else says about you. It's your desire and your connection to what you know on the inside of that desire that will take you past where you are and place you in the place that you want to be. The rules and regulations are, are, are not man-made. Man can, can take things and put it in a little box and a little path that you may follow and may get some sense of knowingness from it. But the bottom line is this. If you do not look into the word of God and lay it aside what man has said, then you are going to be lost in the way that man said to do things. You got the more Michael Jordans of life that they told him that he wasn't going to be a basketball player and here he is the greatest. You got a, a guy that's born here with no arms and, and no legs and yet he's around being a motivational speaker. I can do all things through Christ that gives me the strength, the anointing, the anointing of God gives me the strength accepting the anointing of God. Accepting the anointing God is believing that he did what he said that he did, that he came down here for your spirit, your soul, and your body. For your spirit, your emotions, and your physical being. If we do not tap into the death and resurrection of the cross, we will be just walking around this earth as we have always been lost, looking for a way to get to where we're going and waiting in a chair saying, Jesus is going to take me home. He said, I come that you might have a life and life more abundantly. You mean he came back to give us what he ordained for us to have before the fall. We have been developed under the curse of the fall. But Jesus came so that we didn't have to stay there. And we have to keep our bodies aligned with the word of God. Our spirit and our soul and our bodies. That is if we sit here and we do not receive the healing from the cross 
But if we do not have faith and trust and belief in the cross, the resurrection, then we will do just as we are doing, perishing for the lack of knowledge, perishing for the lack of intimacy. Intimacy is into me see. To know God is intimacy. To know God, he's saying, come into me, see. See in me. Know me. Receive me. Oh, my God. If you understand or you allow yourself to be hungry, the word of God says, he that hungers and thirsts after righteousness, after what is right, shall be filled. I'm not saying go to the altar first and say, I surrender. If you got the hunger, automatically the line will be drawn back to him because he that hungers for after righteousness, righteousness, what is righteousness? Right standing in God. God had it all planned out. He didn't need our help. All he needed our help to do is be vessels that he can shine through. Whew, I'm just full. I am so full this morning because when you begin to see, and this is just how I see it, when you get to be see things and then you get to try and you see God do the very thing that he said, I can do all things. I can't please play the piano. But yet, I just put my fingers on the piano and made a melody. I always desired to play the piano. And I always shun away. But I put it to the test this morning. Now, if I sit there and continue to play on that piano, after a while, I will be playing the piano. I can do all things. And you might say, well, without a teacher? Yes, without a teacher. And yes, if you get a teacher. I'm telling you what is inside of you. I'm telling to you what is programmed inside before you were in your mother's womb. And when you came out of your mother's womb, you were supposed to be directed and guided in your bent. Train up a child in the way he should go in his bent. When you are young, there are little desires of your heart. As a parent, I can hear your desires and I put those things that you desire in front of you. And it's a any, meeny, mighty, mo. Which one do you want to do? But they're there. As I watch you go to the little things, and it tells me, it's almost like you come here telling me who you're going to be. I'm not to tell you that. Oh, you can't do that. Oh, there's no money in that. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, follow the lead of the way the world goes. No, follow the lead of whatever God put down in your heart to do. I come from a place of feeling less than every last sibling in my family. The things that were directed at me in my heart were perceived as I was being dumb because they did not do me like they did everyone else. It was okay for my grades to be low. I did not get in trouble for that, but they did. And all of that said to me was, you're not smart enough. What they did not realize is this. I was a different type of learner. And right now, the things that I do, I have not been to school to do them, at least not in man's way. Things were given to me, the desires that I have. I started sitting here doing, making cards, and next thing my grandmother gave me a computer, and I got on the computer, and next thing I know that I'm doing graphic art. And then I wouldn't even say that I was a graphic artist because I didn't go to school. But I say that I'm a graphic artist because I did go to the school. I went to the school where I can do all things. 
I got my degree from the highest school on earth. Whew. I just get teary-eyed because God is so good. And this particular period of the shutdown inside the house, it's not business as usual. It's finding yourself. It's finding who you are as an individual. Individual. If you're married, it's finding who you are as an individual and who you guys are to each other as a couple. If you're in the house with your children, it's, a, it's seeing who you are as an individual, who you are with your husband, and then who you are with your children and how your family becomes that one, that one entity, entity that God looks upon and says, whoo, there's my church. And you move from this house church into the other church and the body of Christ begins to form inside the walls of what we call church. And the anointing of God walks in with everybody that walks into that door. And the house is so full that the whole neighborhood, the whole neighborhood is drawn to this place because the atmosphere the anointing is so full and, and exuding from everybody that it goes out side the walls of that church. And it goes and it reaches those that were here. And it touches the heart because it's, a, it's the anointing. The anointing of God from the body of Christ. The reflection is the city that sits on the hill. Ooh, it is the salt of the earth. 